recording and yes hello and this is our lecture number six and today what we gonna do we will make a blast code uh, or in into the cans we have previously we have done uh, the cans script in which we have created some bools has fallen has collided is bomb can is life can and there are the force of blast which is 500 or we can set it later and the blast radius so do you know do you know what is the blast radius do you know what is blast uh, yeah i understand it's uh, how, the length for the how uh, the blast will reach where it will reach like one yeah. meter to the right like yeah yeah this this will be uh, this will be a reaching point how much uh, the blast will reach actually the radius yeah. of the blast how much it will reach okay if like we if we make it uh, like zero so i think it will not uh, blast the blast radius will be zero so it the force uh, is uh, will be no uh, will not be used actually so we, it will we not, there will want to be any blast because it's zero yeah so it will not enable the blast so anyway let's jump into the can script and make it like this and now what we can do here now we have to write a code whenever this ball okay uh, where is the ball yes this ball whenever this ball collided with the bomb can so what will happen it will blast uh, it will uh, run the blast code okay it will make a blast over here so for that what we have to do is we have to make a void on trigger uh, collision actually on collision enter Okay. on collision enter like this and if and now what we have to do if has collided is already true then return return from this code you know what uh, what does it mean i think you no. don't you don't know actually so uh, uh, this code, what this code will do, this line of code, whenever ball collided with a bomb, so we, first of all, the has collided uh, on the very beginning of the game of the level, it will be false by default. Whenever we hit uh, any uh, bomb can, so we have to make it true. So, now what we will do, we will make another script. And now let's say this is this is this is this code is only for safe side. Okay, this one. because bomb will be blast this only. What? As for safe side. For safe. I'm sorry, side. but can you repeat? Yeah. I this this what this code collide what? Yeah, this code is just only for safe side. Whenever ball will collide it with the bomb. And we yeah. have we have done the blast. So whenever uh, the ball, so when the ball touches the red uh, cylinder, yeah. when it's yeah. collided to it, yeah, yeah, collided to it. So bomb can be blast only for That's, one time. Okay, only for one time actually. Yeah, it will, it will not. Enough. Yeah, not more than one. That's it. That's why we write write this code. So whenever it is already uh, blasted. So we don't need to blast it again. Okay. Yeah. So we will. What will happen when uh, when the compilation will uh, read this? The has collided is equal to true. Then what we will do? It will return from this this method on collision enter will be returned. It will know. It will not go go over here. Okay. If it is true. Yeah. But I think every time whenever we. Uh, we collided with the bomb it will be false okay so don't worry 
it will be false for the first time. So now what we have to write is collision dot. Okay, I'm on the wrong side. Okay. Collision dot game object dot. Uh, I think the tag is equals to ball. Okay, whenever can object is collided with the ball, so we can uh, has collided is we have to create has collided is equals to true. Has collided is equals to true. And now we have to write the bomb code. The what? The the bomb blast code. Code. Yeah. Okay. And now we have to check if is bomb can is bomb can. Then now <clears throat> under here, this is blasting code. Okay. Let me. <clears throat> increase the size of one so it will be more clear okay so if it is a uh, is bomb can like if it is true something like this we have selected this this can as a bomb can where it is this uh, has colored is bomb can this is true if this is true so then we have to write a code over here. What we have to do, we have to do a rigid body and colliders. And uh, there will be a physics. This code is blast code. This one is the blast code. Okay. Where we will use uh, uh, the blast force and the blast radius. Okay. The blast force and the blast radius. Yeah, blast force and the blast radius. So now you have to see, uh, we will, uh, what we will do, we will collect the colliders. Okay, collider. So there are so many colliders of the cans. There are so many cans over there. Okay. Yeah. So, it's different to each level how many cans there is. So how will that? So we have created a. We have what? How will that affect? Because each level, the number of cans are, are going to be different. So is it going to affect the blast? I mean, or no? Just no, it no, 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 it will not affect the blast. Oh, okay, so now what we will do, uh, we will write a code to physics and over lab sphere this method. Okay, and under this position, we have to provide the transform dot. We are telling to make a blast over here and the blast radius. So now we have got the colliders of the uh, of other canes. And now we will write for each loop. So we can get the colliders and we will blast them. Okay, collider C in colliders. Okay, this one. This is the parent collider which will have the array of all the cans. Okay. Yeah. Something like this is some same like we have uh, collect the uh, child. Uh, cans from the level level is the parent and we have we got the uh, child all the cans okay so now what we have to do we have to make a rigid body rigid body r b equals to c dot get component and rigid body so from this code from this code 
Okay, we are just wait a second. Uh, someone is calling me. Oh. I think my brother is calling me. So I have to. Okay, so now, so we we got the so back to the class. Uh, we we have we got the radius of each collider, each cam, and now if R B is not equal to null, okay. Mm. If it is not null. Then we will make a blast. Then R B dot add explosion force, and then there will be a blast force, and the transform dot position, and the blast radius, and this is some hard code code and. And the force mode dot. There are so many force mode: acceleration, force, impulse, and velocity change. So we will use impulse. This is this works fine. Okay. Okay, and we will just check uh, in our console that. Uh, The blast have been uh, has exploded or not? So this will show in our console. This will show in our console. This one, the blast, this line. Okay, and this is the blasting code. Okay. So just wait a second. <clears throat> okay so let's check it out <clears throat> if it's work or not okay so for okay. and now we ha we have to save the project and we have already saved the script and now just to uh, click on the play button now i have to hit it right Okay, so 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 the blast is not uh, done. There is no code of blast. <clears throat> yeah. This uh, this should have to, but we have not touched the. We have already touched the uh, bomb, but it is not uh, exploded. So do you know why it is not exploded? Because we have not add the tag of the ball into the ball object. So what we have to do. We have to add a tag of a ball. We have to create a new tag. This is new tag now, <clears throat> and we have to add this tag into the ball. Okay, so th this yeah. this is why. And now we have to check it again. <clears throat> Now you can see the blast is work. Okay. Can you try it again, Ansi? Split game and okay. So then, uh, we go with the this. So blast is done. You can see. How the do blast. you know the difference? How but I know, but how do you know between this one and, uh, and the, the one before? Because, the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you the position If, because I can't see the difference. 
Okay, I can. And I mean, with the blast or without? Yeah, I can tell you. I can tell you. Right now, with the blast, when I hit the when I hit the bomb button, okay, I can I can make it more clear. Don't worry. When I hit it with the uh, now you can see when my ball hit to the bomb can, okay, yeah. then it will explode. The everything will explode. Okay, every every can will be destroy now let's see every can is destroyed when i yeah uh, when i hit only the uh, bomb can okay so yeah, let let's remove let remove the this check okay <clears throat> i have removed the is bomb can uh, check and then let's play the game and now let's see the difference okay now when i Hit the uh, bomb uh, can. It will not destroy all the cans. It is not destroying. Yeah, there the is two left. They are they are on the position because only these three cans are in the support of this can. That's why they are falling down. Okay. If we hit, yeah, yeah that's why it is falling down. Uh, and I think if I make uh, some other, can I make? Some other bomb cans. Let's uh, let's remove this from the bomb can, and let's go with this one. So it will be more good to understand. Okay, and this one to be a simple one. Okay, and now this one is the is bomb can. Right. So now when yeah. When I hit this can, it will destroy all the cans. All of them. Yeah. Yeah. Let's check it out. Yeah. No, actually, I have no. the ball. The ball uh, direction was not good. That's why I have to make a good slide to hit that can. This can. No. Yeah. I have to get no. hit. I have to hit it. Actually, that's why. Okay, let's try it again. If the you have if, to wait until the uh, loading, if, you have to wait until the loading so that you can. Yeah. Still no. Maybe the radius of the for the blast is small. No, no. Yeah, that the radius is also very small. Five hundred and hundred is fine, but the ball should touch with it. The the ball when it it will be explored only when the ball <clears throat> hit him. Otherwise, it will not. Okay, so let's do it now. Now, now you can see the blast is done. I think uh, yes, you can see over here. You can see over here the blast is done. So once again, we have to actually we have to play the game to hit the bomb can. And I think now yes, the blast is done. Okay, but the the radius was very uh, small. That's why it's not go with that. This one. So what I have to do? I have to increase the blast radius to fifty, and the blast force is two fifty. I think maybe our blast radius is fifty is fine. I think. Okay. <clears throat> So it is working. Okay, it is working. The blast is not. Yeah. Okay. I like the fact that in the total ball they put like two already. It's like the detail. It's like an amazing. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you so much. And now what we gonna do? We have to add some particles. So for that I have added some prefabs. The it is something like a uh, explosion effect, something like this. Okay, you can see when we hit, whenever we hit the explosion, uh, this uh, bomb can. So this will show show us that we have already hit the bomb can. Okay. 
something like this will happen let's solve for that okay so this uh, is it and <clears throat> let's do it like uh, we have to add some particles okay in the code we have to do it from the code so what we have to do we have to uh, over here we have to write instantiate we have to instantiate an object we are creating some object and this is last fx okay Okay, we have to make a prefab of a blast FX. Public game object. You know what I'm doing now? To be honest, no. I'm adding the blasting effect actually. VFX. Ah, the, the, the visual effects. The blasting, yeah, the blasting particles. Okay. Uh, the blast particles it is not uh, uh, as original but it is something like this whenever we hit whenever the ball hit with the bomb can it will do like it the, it will uh, show this particle it will show this particle like this can you see in this screen oh yeah yeah okay that's amazing but why in the end it's green? Yeah, we can change the color actually. I will <laughs> just, yeah, it is, uh, we can change the color. Okay, emission. The starting color and the ending color. Actually, it is because of the renderer. Renderer have the green smoke actually. So we can change it to orange. Yeah. I think now you understand what, what I'm doing now. So, yeah. Means, no. Yeah. Is, looks amazing yes. and realistic. Yeah, it is. It's look like realistic that we have uh, uh, blasted a can. So whenever we hit the bomb can, it will show this particle at the position of this can. So for that, what we have to do? I have just created this particle in the free time. And I will send it to you. Uh, the complete project, I will share it with you. So let's see how to how to add this particle. Okay, blast effects. <clears throat> For that, what we have to uh, what we have done, we have created a game object of blast effects. Okay, and and then what we have to do. We have to instantiate it. Do you know what is mean? Instantiate? Yeah. What is instantiate mean? This this is the code instantiate. This Expand code you mean? to create uh, any object in runtime. <laughs> so we uh, will add not to create to add any object actually so we will add last okay effects object okay this method actually this method instantiate this one i'm talking about this one this method is called to add any uh object in runtime okay so this is only transform dot position the position of the bomb can and quaternion it is asking for the rotation identity so that's it and now we have to provide that to uh blasting effect object this is the blasting effect object so now let's we have to select all the cans and then 
this is the blast effect. So we have to just drag and drop over here. So now you understand. If you have any question, you can ask me now. Do we have any question? No. No. You understand what we have done. What we have done is, uh, it is very very simple. We have just uh, created a bomb explosion effect. Yeah. yeah. And we have added to the can script. Whenever, whenever the can is a bomb can, it will, it will add this uh, effect to the position of this can. So let's see if it is work or not. Okay. We have already saved the script, and now let's play the game. Okay, that is that is work. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. So that was okay. That was the way it is working. But now I have to see of my ball sphere. The ball is pure or it is high. Yeah. So let's play it again. And now let's see. Actually, this I have to remove this from here. I have uh, added in the editor mode. And now we have to save it. And now it will not play it again because I have added from the project. Now you can see it's it's working fine. Yeah. So the blast part is done, and now what we will do? We will do something like uh, uh, add life, add a ball, add a ball can. So maybe this yeah. one or maybe this one we can make a life can. So duplicate this can. Uh, we can duplicate this can and we can rename it to uh, can life okay and we can we just have to drag and drop this material over here and we can just change uh, it to blue okay so red one is the uh, blasting can and the blue one is the life can okay it will be same like uh, we have done in the blouse can so this one okay this one is a life can so for that i think we have to check is life can okay so we can understand from the code that this one is going to be a life can in our game and it says for the other one yeah so we can write over here as well life can and this is convex box yeah okay Or this one should be a life can. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> life can, life can. This is a bomb can. Bomb. Can. Okay, life can and bomb can. And now we have to write a code. Is bomb can for the left can, right? Uh, yeah. If you have to write similar to the bomb can is live can, and then what we have to do, we have to add a live script. Okay.
so for that what we have to do actually the life is uh, is the life code is under game manager you remember that okay. because the we number have, of balls are yeah. in the game manager right yeah the total number of the balls is here and we have to make a total balls is equal to 5 and where it is total balls minus minus okay so what we can do we can um, make a new method public void add extra life balls something like this fine yeah and in the integer we we will get the value how many balls or we can make it balls just one just one not to overkill what just add one ball if it gets hit uh, they can not no need to do like an overkill like if you have five lives or like that like okay. five balls is like too much <laughs> okay only one ball will be added so now what we have to do is we will add total balls plus and equals to one that's it and what we have to do as well we have to show in the scoreboard in the board in the canvas actually or like this we have to update this one as well so this line of code okay so now it will show you i think it is fine and the bomb can life can and the life can is this bomb can is this and we have right that uh, over here oh no is life can now now we have to <clears throat> now what we have to do is uh, we have to call the game manager and the instance of the game manager and we will call now add extra live ball method and that's it okay so let's see what is going to happen okay now the total balls are three and if we hit to the life can so it is blasted but yeah yeah okay. but it's added because when you when you use the ball it automatically goes to two but then it's going back to three yes yeah it right. works yeah it's work now so that's why I was. So we can uh, we can also um, make it to like three just for testing. Okay. I think the mesh canvas is not the canvas is, is not good. Let's play it okay that's why we are using canvas okay. now the total balls are three and then we hit to life can it is five now that's great yeah yeah okay to work and the level is also success and when we click on the next button it is not working because we have not done it now what yeah. we will now what we will do we will jump from the first level to the second level and from the second level to third level okay so now what we yes. have to do what we have to do we have to make a okay a method from here public void uh, next button is press okay 
and then what will happen okay we have to okay what we have to do we have to change the current level from the game manager okay game manager dot instance instance dot current level plus n equals to one if the current level value is two so it will become three if the current level value is four then it will become five from this line of code if current level is two then it will become three from this code okay everything everything is fine and then what we will do we will do we have a loading screen yeah so we will uh, show a loading screen for some time okay okay loading screen dot set active set active but why do you need the, the loading screen it is fine to load whenever we load any second level so we have to activate it and on the back end on the back end we are preparing the objects of the game like a player like a ball and like other games make it so, more professional yeah make it more professional what we do in the, in our professional projects we do we do something like that we have to close the uh, game window and we will work in the background in the back of the gameplay and once we are ready to play with the user and we will just uh, hide the loading screen and user can play the game so that's it so and then what we will do we will count uh, the cans of the current level so now for that what we can do we have already done this in the start check cans this method okay i think we have yeah this one check cans and what else we can do yeah what else we can do is yeah we can only call dot check cans that's it and now i think the total balls are not updated like in the first level if we have uh, three balls and yeah. then and then we load we success successfully uh, completed the first level and if we jump into the second level what it will do it will uh, run this code it will change the current level uh, value first of all and then it will yeah but, this. yeah but it shouldn't change the number of uh, the balls left right or yeah or right like one more yeah right now it is not changing the uh, ball left value so we have to do this we have to do this don't worry uh, from this what i have what i'm doing is seconds okay we also have to no we have one. okay that's fine seconds okay we will we will check it what is happening here but one more thing we can do we can uh, create a total balls integer like this we can create an array okay that's a uh, logic actually these are the total balls okay this are the total balls and we can and now let's see what i'm doing this is a very wonderful logic so for so now you can see it is not loading yeah because of this it's okay 
Okay. So what we have to do over here, we have to add current level minus one. Do you understand what I'm doing? Mm, no. Yeah, so uh, it, uh, you will understand, you will understand, don't worry. This one, uh, I I think it's like, if uh, the total by uh, in the end of the level, it's like, it adds one, I think, I'm not, I'm not sure. Yeah, you right? are. Yeah, you are right. But yeah, uh, okay. what I what I'm doing is, I'm just providing. Uh, I'm just providing. Yeah. Each specific total balls for specific levels. That's why. So okay. you will you will see over here. Okay. Current level minus one, maybe current level minus one. So total ball. So it is also should be look like this, like this. Okay. Actually, this is an array. I have created this array, and now what we will do? All the errors will uh, go away, and now you will understand what I'm doing. Now you can see the total balls. And now, right now, how many levels we have? We have only three levels. So what we will do, we will make it three. And for first level, we will have three ball. And for second level, we will have five ball. For the third level, we will have seven balls. This is, uh, this is what I have done. Understand? So yeah. from here, what we will do, we will also refresh check ends, go to definition, do references. First is from uh, the start method, maybe. Yeah, I'm right. So, so now what we will do in this check ends method, the new thing, we will uh get uh total balls of this level okay and maybe okay for the we will show it from here We have to, we can remove it now. Don't need this. Because we are doing it from here under the check end. Current level minus one. That's it. So let's see. Now let's see if this code will work. And over here, check ends. We have pause. Whenever the user will hit this button, and now we have to. If it falls, so it will take a picosecond, I think, because it is a very small game. It will not make it, uh, it will not wait it to do this work. So now let's see. Right now, this is level number one, and we have three value over here. Yeah because we have added three balls in the total balls and we have added three levels. The size is of the total balls are the size of the total levels. Okay. Yeah. And this is the first level. This one is the second level. This is one is the fourth level. Okay. So uh, let's change it to five and then we can check. If it is changing to five, then it is working fine. Yeah, it is changed to five. Okay. Okay. Now let's change it to three. So now what we have- Went to back do, to three. Yeah. Okay. So now what we have to do, we have to add the method 
in the next button because there is no on click method over here uh, we can add a new method in the ui manager next button is press okay and just close this one and save your project and now we, uh, we can check it out okay wow the screen yeah here it is so now <clears throat> if we can uh, if we hit on the next button the game is <laughs> now actually let's see what is happening okay we have to now we have to close this as well this panel we have to close this one from the code and okay we also have to close this level and we have to open this level okay we have to do that so from here what we have to do is level success panel dot set active is equals to false okay and game manager dot instance dot uh, uh, all levels maybe all levels dot current okay the game manager dot instance dot current level minus one dot set active it is equals to false okay we have to do it at the beginning okay and we have to open the next level what we'll do this code will close previous level okay. and start the next one right and yeah yeah you're right <laughs> yeah you are genius actually this code will open open next level okay in the in the middle of this code we have increased the current level value okay so now the next level will open and then the check cans method will run and okay i think it should work now so let's see now. that's right yeah let's see if there are any bug then we will fix it so let's come to the game manager and now the current level is one okay you can see from here the current level is one and total level only are six and total balls okay no problem yeah okay so right now the current level right now the current level is one okay mm -hmm. and now when we press on the when, next yeah when we uh, click on the next button the current level is two becomes two okay okay and shoot it balls is one so we have to re reset this one actually we have to reset this one because we have not shooted any ball in this level this is a new level and we have not shooted any ball so one uh, i think this is the last thing okay we can do it from here shoot it ball equal to zero that's it in the game manager it will run only whenever the game start so we can change this method to game start like this and 
we have to change from here copy and paste and as well from here okay that's it because this function is doing uh, all the methods all the functions all the core of the game start function so now it is perfect and now i will uh, make two balls three balls and five balls for the first level we have two balls for the second level we have three balls and the, for the third level we have five balls for just it is for the uh, demo okay okay now we have two balls and we hit the explosion and that as well so level is done now you can see the shooted ball is zero current level is two and we have three balls okay but now i think it will not explode you know why why is the yeah because we have not added the model uh, levels yeah the right? prefab the prefabs we have not added the prefab into over here so we have to delete this one you know why because we have not added a uh, blast effects over here we have not added any uh, what is this bomb can uh, so that's why it is not it will not work we have to delete them and now we can add to second and third like this and then we also have to add over here we have three levels this one is the second level this one is the third level okay <clears throat> and now i will save the current level now whenever the user quit the application the application will remember the uh, level okay 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 we have to close all the levels at the beginning of the game okay now we have two balls and we should so show the current level over here we should so show at the top of the number them. yeah the number of the current level i think i think we should change uh, the score 100 we put instead of it like the red is the level and the black is like the number of the level uh, we can change because the score. Like, because, because, uh, because uh, i don't see what, uh, how it's, uh, i know it's counting the score but it's like i don't uh, i don't see any use of it yeah, yeah. so yes we can call it a level the title should be level and yeah. the score is zero it is not mm -hmm. a score it is current level okay? level and this is the current level okay. something like this okay and what we will do we what we have to do now in the game manager <clears throat> we have to make a text like this public text current level txt something like this and in the game start we have to do the same like a same way okay current level maybe Okay, current level, not like this, but yeah. Current level, yes, this is fine, I think. So whenever we, uh, and now we have to assign the current level text like this. Okay. And let's see how it's work. The level is one and now Next. Next. No. Yeah, it's 
now level is two now level is three yeah and you know that we can change the levels manually we can change the level positions okay that is pretty fine like uh, you can go over here you can go over here to change the uh, positions of this okay you know that. ah like this can you show me example yeah like this in third level Okay. Third level is look uh, will be look like this. Okay. Yeah. And the second level will be just copy them all and do like this. Yeah. That's amazing. That's uh, pretty simple. You have to do it from here, or if you have uh, something like infinite number of levels, so. we have to make a logic from our code okay so now let's see now you can see the level is 2 and the positions of the cans is different now yeah help nope, and missed <laughs> yeah now level is 3 the explosion is it very added the balls yeah Now that I have to throw in the right direction, and it is something not accurate. Yeah, no. Yeah. So that's it. So now what we have to do? Now we have to save uh, the level. Okay. Now whenever we close the game, it will always start from the first level. right so now what we will do what we will do is we will write a player brief this one this is a method this is uh, this class is to save values inside your device understand so uh, so we can set integer value and the integer value is current level and uh this is the logic pair flip now again we have to get the current uh, level current level and plus 1 that's it and whenever whenever game is started over here no we can do it over here because game is start is this so what we will do current level is equals to player pref dot get integer value this is a key actually current this is the key so now are you there yeah i am there yeah so now we will what we will do now we will uh, complete the first level okay what is this Okay, what is it? What is it? Level minus one. Okay, okay. This is just because. Okay, because the current level is zero. Understand? Because there is no yeah. value. There is no value. There is no. Yeah, there is no value in the current level. Super. 
so for that what we will do we will check if if player if dot has key if it if this key have some value then run this code then get the uh, value of current level from this method okay it is something yeah. like if this key has value yeah. okay i think it will not show yeah that's fine i think it will not show something uh, there will be no errors inshallah <clears throat> yeah there are no errors now and the current level will be one you can see the current level is one and when I, when i complete this uh, level <clears throat> when i complete okay. this level and i hit the next button okay so the current level is two okay so now the situation is your mom is calling or your friend is calling your best friend is calling and now you have to leave your class or you have to leave everything and you have to go to watch them out so you quit the your game like this you quit your game and whenever you play your game one, once again so it will start from the previous where are you left off yeah, yeah. okay it is not started from we have left it okay so we have to check it out from here all levels one of us that is become one 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 minus one is equals to that is become one okay okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we can also do this thing from the start method and we can do something like this. Okay. If there is no key, so it should be one. Actually, current level is equals to zero when we passes uh, the first level so it will become one level it should be two it should become two so what i will do at the first time whenever the game is started so it will be one there this will be one value there will be a one value okay you understand yeah at the start last time previously what we have done when we save the value and we increase the size so the the, the first value is zero and when we clear the first level then it will become one so that's what we don't need we have to start it from the one value okay or otherwise what we can do if we don't want if we don't want to do this code we don't need this code so what we can do as is yeah yeah we can add like this one from here let's check it out and one more thing so level success yes. is here one more thing we have to uh and as to our uh success level success from here we have to add this line of code over here not from not here uh, we have to add this line of code over here because when we are showing the level success panel we are not we have to update the current level at the same time 
of uh, when whenever we are showing the level success panel we have to update it like if if the user have not uh, click on the next button like they just yeah. wanted to quit the application like they have cleared the first level and the uh, panel is shown the success panel is shown so and if he don't click on the next button then it will not save if we write our code over here because it it will run only when we click on the next button is press okay so i just remove it from there and this is the best and professional practice to make it over here whenever the level is passes you have to update the current level value okay so now let's see okay where is the code minus 1 what is saying is current level is 0 i think we have to remove this one minus one minus one No, no, no. Why we are moving so much? Okay. So now, why is it happening? Okay, okay. Not a problem. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. <clears throat> over here we have to write like this current level is equals to one okay and <clears throat> player prep dot set integer and the current level is one that's it i think um, okay yeah and then now what we also have to clear the player prefs because it is i think it is already <clears throat> clear all player prefs in the, over here you can see in the added option you can see clear all player prefs we have to do this and now when you click on the play button so let's see if there are any errors no there are no errors Le level is one you can see over here the level is one and now let's see okay and now if we quit the application and yeah. run it again so it is starting from the level, level three. level three yeah yeah 
so that is because okay why it is happening uh we, okay we have to save it, this we have to save this actually we have not saved the ui manager we have uh, done the we have added the level from here and here from two uh, from two sided we have not uh, saved the ui manager that's why uh, the two number increases. So now we also have to clear all of your proofs once again to get more to get the actual result. It will start from the one. Next. Oh my God. It is jumping to the third level. Okay. It keeps going there, yeah. No, I think it, we are doing it in two. Why it is happening? <clears throat> we have only done this uh, updating part over here. This class is to save values inside the device. And when we click over here, yeah, go to destination. Okay, we can also we have to debug it. Debug the blog. It is saving actually. Okay, it is uh, already saving the value, but why it is adding two levels? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. We don't need Why? to debug it. Yeah, because uh, the current level is less than equals to one. <clears throat> no, I have to debug it. We have only running the integer. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yes. So I will debug it and we can see in the next We can class. do that in next class, yeah? Yeah, yeah, we can do it in the next class. Okay, so hope you okay. enjoy this. So hope you enjoy this lecture. Take care, bye-bye. Thank you.